Hello football coaches and football players, my name is Football Coach Allen, and today I'm going to show you some misdirection, eye formation, football plays. So hello everyone, my name is Allen from Football Coach Allen, and on this channel I show you football plays, drills, and skills, so if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But today I'm going to give you some misdirection football plays in the eye formation that you can use. Now I'm going to show you a few that are in the basic formation, then we're going to offset the running backs a little bit. So let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. Okay, so this is what a basic eye formation looks like, and what we're going to first start with doing is having player 3 faking a handoff with player 1, and he's going to be running in that direction. We are then going to have player 2 blocking on this side, and player 3 is going to be blocking on that side. Now what we are looking to do is have player 5 run downfield about 10 yards and he's going to be cutting back in 90 degree angle towards the center of the field. We are then going to be having player 8. He is going to be running straight up about 5 yards and then a 45 degree angle out towards the left sideline and we are going to have our tight end running up about 10 to 15 yards and cutting out towards the left side. Now what we will be having is a player 9 blocking, if I can get my pen in there, all these players are going to be blocking left. And then what we will be having is player 1 dropping back, player 4 curling back around using player four, 2 as a screen. Player 4 is going to get that ball and he is now going to be the one who's quarterback or at least the one who's going to be passing the ball. Player 1 is also going to be blocking on this side as well. And player 4 is going to be looking for either player 8 or player 6 downfield. Now in this next play we have offset the, the fullback. He is a little bit to that right side. And what we will be doing is having player 3. Actually all, all of these front line players, even the tight end, are going to be blocking. And what we will be having is player 6. Depending on where his, the if it's a man-to-man -man or a zone. Uh, he's going to be blocking up a bit, uh, usually on player 8 or 7, depending on what's going on in the defense. And then we will be having player 3 faking the handoff. Player 1 still having it. Player 2 is going to be running out to this right side. And what we will be doing is having player 4 run up about 10 to 15 yards and cutting back down. And we're going to be having player 5 doing a gradual curl about 15 yards, 20 yards downfield, so that now player one is going to be passing the ball back to player two, who's going to be curling out and looking for player four or five downfield. Meanwhile, we have player three and one blocking on that left side, and we may also have an open lane for player two to run as well. So depending on what's going on with the defense, if player four is able to block downfield, player six is able to block downfield, we may have an open running lane for player two as well. So there's a few different options out of this play. Now this last and final play I'm going to show you is a running play, and it's definitely a misdirection play. Some, some coaches may call this a trick play as well, it depends on what you think. But of course player one is going to get that ball, and this is going to be a fake handoff to player three, and player 3 is then going to be running downfield. We are then going to have player 2. He is going to be blocking on this side as well. And player 1 is going to be dropping back. Player 4 is then going to receive that handoff from player 1. And player 1 is then going to curl out and block on this right side. We're going to have player 6 blocking downfield as well. And every single one of these guys are taking one step to their right and then setting a block because our final our final play is going to be running up that right side where we now have player five running back down and player five is going to get that handoff and he is going to be the one who is running up that right side that's why this whole front line is going to be shifting to the right and then blocking because now we have player one who's going to be the lead blocker even though he's the quarterback you you don't have to set him as uh, your real quarterback you can substitute a, a running back in uh, for him as well and he's going to be blocking downfield player six is going to be blocking downfield and player four is going to be blocking on that back side so that nobody is following player five and player five should have the clear sideline up the field 
Now, I hope that these plays have helped your team, and I hope that they help you win more games. If you have liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe, let all of your coach friends know about this channel. It's still sort of new, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. I'm used to saying that on my basketball channel, Basketball Coach Allen, but I'll see you in our next video. I post three times a week, generally Monday, Wednesday, Friday on this channel.